Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have another quick video for you all. This time it's an overview of this buck converter. This is a USB charging module. Uh, this one actually supports quick charge and I got this from Banggood. This one has four individual outputs and also it has their own individual circuits, which is pretty neat. So you actually have the in minus and in plus uh, and along with that, it also charges using the barrel jack. At the back, you actually have the model number on the top as well as it lists out the supported agreements. So basically, we pretty much use quick charge two and three in most cases. And this product actually works between the voltage of six volt to 32 volt, which is pretty good. Uh, you have a wide voltage range to play with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a power bank, but for this video, I'm just going to quickly show you the overview. And if you want to buy it, I'll leave the description link in the description below. For now, I'll run this with my 12 volt 6 amp power battery pack where I connect its XC60 connector at one end. And I'll get that connected with the board for now and I'll show you how the board works. I actually built the battery pack using this 32700 cells. These are lithium uh, iron phosphate cells. and. Uh, if you haven't checked the video on how you could build this, I'll leave a card at the top. You could go check that out. And if you need these sort of cells, uh, I'll leave the contact information description below. And also you could join my Telegram account. We could certainly help you out from there. So for now, let's run this using this board. Uh, but I have another plan for this. Uh, I have this 21700 lithium iron cells. Uh, which I am planning to make a power bank uh, using this uh, 3S2P pack. Uh, I'll actually use a proper BMS as well as a fuse and as well as a separate charging module. Uh, I'll actually 3D print the case. I need some time to print the case. So what I'm going to do is for now, I'll just explain the board. But in the next video, I'll print a case and I'll assemble this battery pack. Now a quick overview is that I also got this uh, charging board. Uh, to charge the lithium ion cells. Uh, this is a 5 amp hour uh, charging module. I'll leave the link in the description below. Uh, for now, what I'll do is, uh, let me connect this uh, barrel jack. Uh, you can actually solder the wire. So what I'll do is I'll actually connect an XT60 connector at the other end so that we could hook it up with the battery. So this uh, barrel jack directly fits with the board without a problem. You could actually build your, I mean, you don't even have to connect a battery pack. I mean, you could use any adapter between zero, uh, 6 to 32 volt, which should work pretty neat. So for now, I connected the XC60 connector and uh, the other side is the barrel jack. So let me get the XC60 connector from the battery with the barrel jack. This is actually an overkill for this uh, module because the battery pack uh, can actually discharge at 18 amp hour. So you just have to take the barrel jack and put this in and it should turn on immediately. Uh, you have blue indication on the top which states that uh, uh, the modules are turned on. The main reason I got this is because each of the chips are individual which means that all the four slots would be able to support quick charge at the same time. So you could charge multiple phones with the same uh, quick charge option. So for now, I actually have two phones. Let me get the USB cable and get the uh, con get it connected with the board. So that's the other cable. So let's quickly get that connected with the phone. So as soon as you connect this in and uh, you should see the fast charging option uh, displaying on the phone. So if you see it shows fast charging, so which means that it's quick charge and then the other phone, even that should show charging rapidly, which means that it's, uh, it's fast charging. So both the phone should be at uh, fast charging mode at the same time. I actually, tested off with using all the four USB ports together at the same time. All of them supports uh, quick charge at the same time, which is pretty good. So most of the power banks wouldn't be able to support uh, all the four ports at the same time. 
I really like this uh, uh, char- charging board uh, and uh, stay tuned for the next video uh, which would be pretty interesting on how you could build your own power bank. For now, I would recommend that uh, if you're looking out for a DIY type uh, bug, boost, bug converter for you charging your phones, you could buy this. Another thing is that you could hook it up with your solar panel but if you do, uh, where you're going to step down from a higher voltage, say maybe like 24 to 6 volt, uh, which means that the indicators and the coils would need to uh, work quite hard. So what, in this case, what I would recommend is to actually get these sort of small heat sinks and get that connected with the board. You could actually keep it on top of the coils, which would help dissipate the heat pretty easily. But that's only when you're going to uh, step down from a higher voltage. But uh, the device didn't get warm quite uh, didn't get warm in this case because it's just stepping down from 2 volt uh, thank you so much for watching guys if you need these sort of cells you could reach out to me and if you like my video do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching stay tuned